right, you ready to make some beets? So I got two different kinds. I got yellow golden beets and I got the candy stripe beets. I actually I never seen yellow beets. beets first time. Really? Yeah. So put the golden <clears throat> ones in. Then these candy striped ones are so beautiful. Have you seen these? I have not. Mm. You find them a lot at farmers markets and stuff. And look at the inside of these. Oh wow. I didn't know that there's all this kind of beads because I always just use I that. like candy stripe beads because they don't stain your hands as much when you mm, clean makes them. Makes sense. Stuff, makes you know? sense. Yeah, because you're just so that drives messy. me crazy. Okay. So you cook them first before you I clean them, I scrub okay. them. Drizzle these with some olive oil. And then this is gonna go in a 400 degree oven for the big one's probably an hour. Gorgeous. Okay, should we make the dressing that goes on it? Yeah. It's just olive oil and hazelnut oil. I do two parts of the oil. And the hazelnut oil, I just like it because it kind of adds the flavor of the hazelnuts and kind of brings it through the beet salad. And I make extra because I love saving my salad dressings. They stay good for sense. about a week. That's why you make them in the mason jar, girl. What kind of vinegar? That's a sherry vinegar, but... Oh, look how beautiful. It looks like pearls. Yeah, it's nice. There we go. And then a little bit of honey. Kind of like breaks through that vinegar bite a bit, you know? Honey is always good, honey. No? A good pinch of pepper. A good pinch of salt. And now Stir I just away, do that girlfriend. magic. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is so cool. Oh, it smells amazing. It's so good. Yeah. Voila. Done. Easy. So I'm just getting the last bit of peels off of these beets. They came out so beautiful, didn't they? So beautiful. Ooh, that's a really pretty one. Look, it's like ombre. Seriously, like dark delight. Mm. Like my hair. Yeah. So I'm just quartering these up. They're and then we're gonna so make beautiful. a nice little bed for them with this beautiful arugula. You can use butter lettuce, but I really like, because beets are so earthy tasting, I really like the mix of that like nutty green. And know, arugula is just the best. And the we're best. just gonna layer these on top. Okay, there's our beets. Let's put some of these hazelnuts across. Just a good, healthy scattering of them. And then we're gonna do some of this dressing that you've mixed for me. I just kind of like to do a good drizzle across all of them. Should we try it? Yeah. <laughs> Trip dummy dough. Oh yeah. You like it? Oh yeah, and the hazelnut is the so... The hazelnut makes it like really like warm. God, that is really good. Now your favorite part, the goat cheese. And oh, I like to keep so them kind of big. Oh, so you like to keep them big? Emulate, okay. emulate, you know, the chunk of the beet. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. Isn't that nice? It's like goat cheese snow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Perfect, we're done. Delicious.